What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Be The Fish. This morning we got up real early and uh, we have two days to fish this weekend. Fiance's got some stuff to do, so that means we're gonna go do some truck camping tonight, drive a little bit and uh, fish a place we've never been before. We're gonna go explore a new lake or lakes, plural. Uh, we have some stuff that I found using Google Maps and found some places in New York that I've never fished before that it looked really good and I wanna go check out. And uh, we're taking a, an interesting approach to it today because I'm a, I'm a light line kind of guy. I like to be deep, I like to use my electronics. These next two days I am forcing myself to power fish. Uh, this is gonna be one where I'm gonna go punch, I'm gonna go frog. Uh, not that, you know, frogging is outside of my forte, but I wanna go punch grass. I wanna get more comfortable with some techniques, which you guys will see here in a second when we get to the ramp and show you what we're gonna be, you know, putting in the, the Hobie for today. We're gonna go experiment with a bunch of stuff, get some confidence in more things um, that we need to, that we should, things that we can add to the arsenal, and it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, at least I hope. I hope the fish catchers are there for you guys and for me as well. Brand new place, don't know what to expect. It looks great on Google Maps. There's only one way to find out if it's actually gonna be good, and we're about to find out here real shortly. And real fast before we go fishing today, if you've been liking the channel, you've been liking the videos, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know down below what you guys would like to see on Be The Fish, and subscribe to the channel. If you've not already, share it with your friends. Let's go get on the water. All right, guys, we're about to get out in the water, get everything set up. We got a wake bait, chatter bait, frog, flipping setup, a grass flipping setup, um, like a braid to floral, and we got two punch setups over there. So straight power fishing. This is the lake. Let's go catch some bass. Let me start with a little wake bait from six cents. Something we don't throw very often. Can get some confidence in it. First cast. Yeah, one little boat and another kayak here. And some interesting stuff on the graph over here, that's for sure. Here. We'll probably for what you guys can probably see. Oh, I just got crushed. It was a small one, I think. Once my little one. Oh, that could have been. Could have been bluegill too. We don't know for sure yet. Just gonna keep probably running ground here with down imaging inside to see if I can find something that I can break down and put 360 in. About five foot of water now, so we're deeper. It's just. Uh, not seeing anything significant here. I feel like a good clump of grass. I'm seeing some bait bust a little bit, but nothing nothing crazy. There we go. You guys can see there's a little grass line here. Mark that quick just to kind of get a base. So we're finding decent grass, like it looks really good. We got that red top milfoil. But we're not getting any bites and there's not really too much sign of life beyond just a few, you know, bait flicking here and there. So I think I'm gonna push out a little bit deeper. Cause man, I threw in some stuff that really just made sense and should have gotten bit. So we're just gonna uh, kind of get putzing around here, trying some different water depths. See if we see some things in the graph. Like I'm seeing some holes in the ground in the graph here on the bottom. Let's see if that's anything, see if there's any fish. Keep putzing around here. See what we can come up with. Oh, 
We had a bass on. A little subtle chatterbait bite ever. Right on top of one of these holes. I felt like I just got bit at the boat. It was like super small. Like it might have been 12 inches. First bass of the day. Not sure we're going to uh, put that one on the board. Not sure if he would have kept. He probably would have, but it's a dang 12 incher. Another hard spot right there. Coming up on this point. Kind of textbook spot. There's another dinker. Sliding a craw tube under these docks. I'm getting bit out there. I just didn't, I don't think it was a bass either that or it was, if it was, it was about that size. These things are not very big. It might just be a lake that doesn't have any big ones. I think we're gonna flip this nasty crap because there's actually good grass under it and there's enough depth. I'm hearing popping. So we're gonna punch this stuff quick. Go through this line. If we don't get bit, we are out of here. We will be out of here. boats here a lot of pulled in I guess it's to be expected on a nice afternoon be interesting to see how this place sets up kind of looks like there's like a subtle little island of grass right here give that a shot with the frog quick we're gonna make our way over there fish this grass line you know, keep an eye on the grass, see if there's any offshore grass, and then uh, we'll start hitting, we just hit some docks. I've heard there's a lot of Roman smallmouth, so we might play around with, make a live a little bit here. Just kind of have some fun, fish the way we want to. Got some other stuff that, a couple variables line up that I want to try. And if that actually happens, I'll tell you guys, otherwise it'll be a waste. I wonder if you guys, can you guys hear this? That's all popping. I hope you guys can hear that. I'll try to turn up the volume on that clip. That's all popping. That's all bluegills on this. 
There ain't no way a bass ain't under here trying to eat. If I don't get bit, dude, it'll be a tragedy. Oh God, that was a bass. That was a good bass. Dude, they're blowing up everywhere. And that thing's gotta eat again. Well, that was probably at least a three pounder. Came right out of the water. <laughs> oh, you're so tiny, but that was fun. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. I love bass fishing. sucker that sucker's mean look at that heck yeah four two four pounder four pounder on the frog Whoa. that fish is mean <laughs> I gotta switch batteries I didn't get a, a length on him we're gonna we're gonna go just wait today I didn't get a length on him because the GoPro wasn't going. I don't want to keep him out for too long. So, and I didn't bring my net. So you guys can see, I was just excited to fish and <laughs> wasn't exactly that prepared. That's awesome. Brings two graphs, frogs instead. We're using a 7.6 Heavy Fast Ebu Garcia Fantasista Premier. You don't have to use a 7.6. I just literally, this isn't even my frog rod. This is just what I have it on. But it's working great right now. I mean, 7.6, you're cracking their butt and getting them in. This is the new Abu Garcia Revo STX. It's an eight one to one gear ratio. Kind of a little too overpowered. I'm a big fan of the new power handles they got. It makes life much easier, especially when you're frogging or punching and being able to really torque on those fish. God, I heard that. Somebody just got munched. Throwing a Spro bronze eye. My favorite color, but the only color I throw. A killer gill. You get them at Omnia Fishing if you want to. Use code Sirius10. If this video posts in time, you can actually use Sirius20 to get 20% off and do good until September. I'll try to get this video edited in time to where you can use that code if you want. 20% off site-wide on Omnia Fishing. I'll plug that down below and I'll work my butt off to get this video edited in time so you guys can see see this video and use that code if you want to. All my discount codes are down below in every single description for every episode. And also if you listen to the Serious Angler podcast, same thing, every show, all the discount codes from all of our show partners and all that jazz are down in the show description. So if you guys wanna save some dollars, if you're gonna order some stuff, be sure to go use those codes, save you some money. The best part about this is it's literally 1230 and we have all of this until tonight because we're sleeping in the truck tonight. We're doing a little truck camping. I decided I'm going to start actually filming the truck camping stuff I do. Show you guys a little glimpse of that. So we get this stuff till like literally dark tonight. If it's good enough, maybe we'll just order a damn pizza to the ramp and keep fishing. Keep you on the chesty for right now because the back GoPro is not going to see this. I hope you guys could see that. 
dude. <laughs> I hope the GoPro, if I didn't he uh, see it, at least heard it. Come on. Eat it again. That bite was so mean. That was a freaking giant. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over there. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, come on. Again. These fish suck. Your guys' accuracy is horrible. Like me back when I played hockey. Couldn't hit the damn broadside of a barn. That was another giant blow up. Oh, I really hope the GoPro got that. That was massive. Dude, that was insane. Why are they missing? Like, they're missing it so bad. Yeah, right, we got fresh frog on. I wanted to keep the softer one, but it was split down the middle, and I don't know if it's affecting it, but it's certainly not going through cover as easy. Maybe I'm working it. Oh, God, come on. Like, dude, another one. I don't come back for it. It's the weirdest thing. There's so many bass. I really like, I really like to use Spro. I only have black popping frogs. The spro. And popping frogs and pads do not mix. At least not very well. You can definitely get away with it. It's just not you know, easy. Alright, we're going to try a different color. Say it again. There we go. That's a big one. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Let's go. Oh. Yep, should have switched color sooner. <laughs> Woo. It's a dang workout, cuz. Here we go. Whew. That was fun. There's so many bass in here, it's not even funny. Two and a half, two and a half pounder. See you later. So what I'm noticing and I'm putting together here is like, I'm not catching them in the pads out here. I'm catching them here. And what I've noticed is that I'll be, I see a bunch of frogs that are skirting around up shallow and these bass are just off of it. And I think that's, this is like legitimately their primary feed focus. That's why there's a bunch of bluegill out here and there's like some small ones chasing them. I've seen a couple small fish, small bass come up and like chase stuff out here. But all these bigger quality fish are chasing that bigger meal, that frog back here. And I think that's why I'm still getting so many good bites is because all the bigger fish are up here. They know that these frogs are up there and it's way better of a meal and technically somewhat of an easier meal than say a bluegill that can swim away where these frogs like, if they catch them by surprise, they go. He missed it completely, and I was like, "What the world is going on here?" Stupid fish. Yeah. Okay. Gotta love it. But the, oh god! Hold on! Oh god! 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 Oh god!
Never mind, it's not right. It's a poor problem. Never mind, it's a three pounder. <laughs> Maybe you just have to slow down a little bit. Oh, that's a good one. It's like a two and a half. He's really shrinking on me. He jumped and he looked a much bigger. Yeah, he's like a bass. bank. I don't care where it comes from. Oh my God. Little, little one. Yep, little one. That was awesome. <laughs> of the pads, <laughs> like move as I was fishing, like going through it. I'm like, yep, I'm about to get slurped. Well, yeah, because we have basically the same team. Oh, God, he just knocked that thing off the pad. That was hilarious. He just bumped it off the pad. Like, it was on the pad, and he bumped it to the side. Got another one. <laughs> that thing is so small. <laughs> Not even, dude. That was hilarious. Huh? Uh, Cayuta. Honestly, it wasn't bad. Just slap on a podcast and you're good. Is that bad? Oh, well, it's very true. Well, we caught a few more bass with Andy on the phone. Stuff is so much fun. Keep missing bigger bites though, unfortunately. Not sure what that's all about. Alright, bud. Alright, we'll see Hell yeah. Alright, so we're taking a pass back through that area where we missed a bunch and caught some. And uh, then we're going to head over to a different spot if we have time left in the day. If not, we're going to pack out, go grab some food, figure out where the heck we're going to park the truck and sleep tonight, make our little bed in the truck, and then we'll kick it for the night. That's a big one. Oh God, dude. Get in here. Oh, that's a freaking beast. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh that's some meat right there, you saw Oh, dude. Yes. That's some dang meat right there. That is some dang meat. I just slowed that frog down on the openings. Chill, homie. If you're gonna freak out, do it. Oh. Oh, it's a 414. Almost a five pounder. Heck yeah. Five to 
the almost five pounder. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Let's do, do our due diligence for the day. Might have some of these later. Hopefully not this exact one, but a fresh one. Nice stuff, don't really actually need it, but some extra, extra, extra for tomorrow. Breakfast. And then, uh, not gonna drink these all, I promise. Something a little to uh, enjoy tonight while we do some uh, editing from the truck. I'm gonna go find a place to pop a squad and relax by the lake for the night. And hopefully, don't get a ticket or something for sleeping in the truck. guys slept like a baby last night we didn't show you guys too much but here's the <laughs> the ram sweets for the night <laughs> do the job i didn't wake up once well now we uh we're gonna get situated and figure out where we're gonna go launch we're gonna go try to fish <laughs> not expecting the uh, everything to be this wet this morning Get a little breakfast and figure out where the heck we're gonna go launch so I thought the launch was right here <laughs> and it's blocked off so we're gonna have to figure out something whether that's here or somewhere else I don't know I was really hoping to to fish here because this is actually where our state championship is going to be and I was really hoping to sight fish down here and see some different things but I don't know that that's going to happen now plus the wind's kind of picking up a little bit so I'm kind of thinking we might go find a uh, little smaller lake to go kind of putz around it and frog flip again alright let's go get in the truck and figure it out alright I think we figured out way to launch here which by the way I am the happiest man right now for the pure fact that I get to use my seat heater and my steering wheel heater and it is August in New York I love the fact that it's getting cold already absolutely love it I am NOT a summer person at all I like summer fishing you know, I like that concept. I like wearing sun hoodies. Those blackfish angler sun hoodies definitely help the case. But uh, <laughs> I hate the heat. I like the cold. I like flannels. I like I like sweatshirt weather. I like when things are a little bit on the cold side. So the fact that I woke up and it was 53 degrees this morning was pretty awesome. I think I can definitely launch here. I think. I don't see any signs against no fishing and it's not private only issue is is the wind is supposed to be a lot harder than it was supposed to be when I checked last night and this lake's pretty big and it's already getting a little gnarly out there <clears throat> I can kind of see it coming down the lake like it's supposed to be like 20 plus so I think I am gonna go figure out where the heck to go because I don't think I'm going here we'll see I gotta look at Google Maps either way this video is not done we'll figure out a place to go fish this morning All right, we are at lake number two. We got kayak down here and we're about to get loaded up. We're gonna go flip some docks, flip some grass. Maybe do a little bit of graphing. Hopefully catch some fish for you guys. So stay tuned here, we're gonna get loaded up and head on out. I 
I have been here before. I know this lake fairly well. I'm gonna do stuff, I'm gonna force myself away from the typical stuff that I used to, that I do every single time when I'm here. I'm gonna go hit the part of the lakes and do patterns that I have not done here before. It is a fun fishing day, so let's force ourselves to learn, right? You can't, you can of course learn doing the same stuff you're used to, but you don't learn as much. Queen tackle. Look how fat that fish is. Queen tackle, tongue some flipping jig right to the roof. Got a bad hook set on, but got him in the boat. Got a little three inch Berkeley pit boss in the back. Flipping dukes. See if there might be another one in there. Oh, rock bass. Uh, under that tree. All right, guys. It is a ghost town down here. We're gonna make a couple last casts, but then we are getting off the water and we are headed home. So I hope you guys liked this video. It was a lot of fun yesterday catching those on a frog. And not much action today. Uh, I forgot to put in some certain videos uh, from truck camping last night. Kind of just got food. You know, it took me a minute to find a spot to actually camp. Uh, and then I forgot to actually like, show you guys everything besides this morning when I woke up. So if you want to see more stuff about truck camping, please let me know down below. I would love to tell you guys all about that and show you guys more because I do that a lot. Especially for a lot of local tournaments up here. And especially when I'm traveling on the road. And would gladly like to install that to Chasing Hardware, to just a regular tournament videos, to even just like fun fishing videos like this. Let me know. I would love to show you guys that. Uh, especially if you guys dig that kind of stuff. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and we'll see you guys on the next one.